Let's get going on layout one for Cherish. You're going to need the green striped paper, and I believe they've turned it so it goes left to right this way. And let's get started on this. This shouldn't take too long. Pretty easy page. It's only the last uh, layout, I believe, that's the hard one. So this one, we're gonna start out with 1A, and 1A is the really large floral paper. And it looks like this, and my TV just went off, so hold on. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I have this TV that uh, um, will go kind of into a sleep mode, and all of a sudden it starts playing really terrible music. <laughs> so. It's off now, okay. So we're gonna go three and a half inches down. So I'm just gonna turn this so I can measure easier. It's gonna be three and a half inches down from the top. So this is the top of your page. And grab your adhesive. Remember, you can use any side that you want. You don't have to use the side that they recommend. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna go flush with the left-hand side and then I've got, I'm just pressing it up against my ruler so that I'm at the right height on this. And then I'm just gonna match it to the side of the page and that should keep it on straight like that. So that's 1A, 1B is uh, the little sticker. So on these pages, you're gonna have um, two, uh, we're gonna have one of these that we cut out from paper, one of these strips, and then one will be a sticker. So grab one of your stickers, and that's gonna go right underneath it. And I actually think that was probably, that was where they were putting the, um... <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's where they were putting the thing. All right, you know, it's not gonna matter whether you put your sticker here or sticker here. So one of them goes here and one of them goes here. So let's just start at the top with the sticker because that's how they did it. And then we'll grab the piece that we cut and that will go at the bottom of this. That's a nice little border. Remember that with scrapbooking and, um, and uh, card making, it's all about layering. And I'll tell you, it's also that way in decorating too, I noticed. <laughs> all of the principles of art seem to go, no matter what kind of art you are doing. Oh, I think my ink is, or my pen is dry. So, you, you get to use those same principles over and over again. Rep repetition, proportion, um, movement, all of the things that you learn about art, if you ever took an art class, go for all types of art. Scrapbooking, stamping, whatever, decorating, anything that you do that's artistic are gonna use these same principles. So if you ever have a chance to just sit down and watch a video or read a little article on the principles of art, um, it's really interesting and it really helps you to be a better artist. And that means in your scrapbooking and in stamping too. Okay, let's get that down. Next is 1C and that's gonna be this piece right here that looks like that. All right, and that's gonna go underneath all of this. I like when they are um, just butt up against each other. Doesn't that make it easier to put everything on? So much simpler than you have to measure again and again. And then 1D is gonna be this piece here, which is the back side of that floral, right? A couple strips of adhesive for that. So yeah, we're doing a lot of layering because that um, makes your page look so much better. And it keeps your photos from looking like they're floating on a page. I know that uh, when scrapbooking first started out, it was just like, slap your photos down and, um, and they were always look like they were kind of floating in the space of your uh, thing and your stickers would be floating all over and your little journaling strips would be floating all over. Layering helps ground all of that, and so it doesn't look like it's floating. Now, before we start putting anything down, um, uh, as far as the mats, I want to uh, 
put another sticker. So that's going to be this lacy one because the uh, mats will go over that. And we're going to move the mat slightly. So I think I'm going to go to the, um, the title uh, part. Well, it's not even the title, but it's holding your, photo, your, your uh, picture, um, floral pieces down, your floral stickers. So I believe it's this one right here. I think that's the right side. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, okay. So we're going to um, dovetail it. I'm sorry I'm bumping the camera all over the place. So let me grab some scissors and we're gonna dovetail these two ends. And they, this is pretty long. So I'm gonna dovetail quite a bit because I'm looking on the directions here and they've taken off quite a bit of that piece. So I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna go up a little further than I normally would on dovetailing. So I'm probably gonna go up a good inch and then instead of cutting all the way from this piece, I'm going to go up a bit. So I'm going to go probably up a half an inch. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe I cut it wrong. Could be. Now, if I should look at that before I have you cut yours. Let me check real quick. And maybe maybe I cut this. I didn't cut this right. And if so, yours might be the right size. Let me look real quick on that piece. That piece. Yep, it was supposed to be 11 inches, so that's why mine is so long. So if yours, if you cut yours correctly at 11 inches, then all you're going to do is just regular dovetail it. You don't have to go as deep as I did. And then we're going to put that down. Now, normally this would go over the pictures, the uh, mats and such, but because we're going to put flip flaps on this page, I lifted the pictures up. So because you do not want your flip flaps to go over your decorations. Because remember, the flip flaps go on the outside of the layout. And we don't want to cover up all those pretty little decorations you made. So on this, you are just um, going just slightly past that green stitch strip and center it. So let me show you on my original layout here what I'm talking about. So I moved these up because I knew I was gonna open these flip flaps. Now, if you don't do that, and you put your flip flap on, and it's covering, you know, it's on the outside of the page protector, and it's covering over that pretty artwork of the flowers and stuff, you know, that doesn't look good. So you have to make sure that whenever you're using flip flaps, that you put them directly over a photo and don't let them hang off something. And if your photo has got something on it already, and I'll show you that, so let's say here's your decoration that you put over your photo. I'm not going to put a flip flap here because then this is like in the way. And it's not going to look good when you close up your flip flap um, to have this there. Because you would have to stick your flip flap basically right over that decoration, cutting off the beauty of it. So don't do that. So that's why we're going to move these up a bit. All right. So um, let's put the mats on next then. You got two of the mist colored mats and I moved them up. Let me measure, make sure I got it right for you. I moved them up quite a bit so we'd have plenty of room to decorate. So I moved them up. So they're about um, five eighths of an inch from the top of the page. So what I'm gonna do is flip my page upside down And I'm going to measure five-eighths of an inch. And then they are, um, what does it say? How far? One and five-eighths of an inch in from the side. So let me get to five-eighths. And I'm going to do the, um, the left-hand one. Remember, my page is upside down right now. <laughs> so don't want to confuse you. But it's just easier to work with that way. So um, I've got it five-eighths from the top. This is actually going to be the left picture, but to me right now, it looks to the right. And that I'm going over one and five eighths inches to right there. And then the second piece, I'm still holding that ruler kind of tightly there. And that's going to go an eighth of an inch away from that first one. So hold your ruler down and go just one eighth of an inch over. 
like that. Then we'll flip it back around the way it's supposed to go. And I'm gonna put my photo placeholders, but you would be putting your photos down here if you have them. If you don't have photo placeholders, you know, you don't need them. You know that that's gonna be where the photos go. I just happen to uh, use them because <laughs> I got them. All right, just like that, okay. Then that was, that's one E and one F, and we already did one G, and I think that's all the main pieces that we're gonna do, and now we're just gonna get to the decorating. So, um, over it looks like, let me see, we're gonna need, trying to see what we're gonna put down first. So it look, looks like this one's gonna go down first, and you're gonna probably need glue for that one. When they do these floor ones, there's so many little uh, <laughs> pieces that they like to layer because layering is good. So this is gonna go really just, um, just under the left picture, kind of, kind of fitting in about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch there. And then the stem comes right down into the middle there. And then we're gonna do another one of those. So another one of those and that's gonna come out the bottom. So I'm just basically working from the back to the front on all of this layering. So I'm gonna stick that here and maybe a half an inch to the right, the stem is a half an inch to the right of the other one. It's not gonna matter too much, don't, don't get too hung up on that. And then we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna kind of curve it to the left And that will layer over the first piece just to the left of that. And then we have another one of those. And this one, I'm gonna have a curve a little bit to the right. So go in this way, okay? And that's gonna go to the right of the blue piece. Well, mist colored. Actually, I think they did it the other way. So either way it's gonna work. It's just supposed to be layered. All right, then one of the little, um, uh, I don't even know what you would call those, rosettes. I'm taking the one from the top. If you labeled your um, stickers, that makes this so much easier. And that's gonna go under the first photo, but down towards the bottom of this uh, um, dovetailed piece. Kind of like that, all the stems sort of pointing towards the center. And then we've got, we're gonna put the big um, floral stickers down next. So here's one. I think they are uh, uh, actually just the same sticker twice. Yeah, they turned a little, it's turned just slightly. So it doesn't matter which one you put on which side. And so turn it this way. About a half an inch from the um, left-hand side of your uh, um, dovetailed piece with the leaves sticking out. I'm gonna check my camera, make sure everything's looking good. Okay, good. And now that leaves us with the leaves. And um, let me see which leaves we're gonna use. Okay, we're gonna use this right here in the middle. And that will go on the left-hand side. So that looks like that. And that kind of overlaps over um, that yellow flower. Almost centered there. And then the other piece for layout one is right here. Like that. And that goes on the right hand side again, kind of sort of layered over that yellow flower. Oh, we got another one of the little rosettes and that is, where's number one? Right here, right here, this one. And that's also gonna go at the top and that goes about just right under the uh, mat there on the left-hand side of that mat. And then I think that's it. And then we just do the big flower. So this is the one that we did with um, the plast the, the uh, texture paste. I call it plaster. <laughs> and I need, I'm gonna grab some um, foam tape.
and because we want that one to pop up. And that's just going to kind of anchor all of those. So I'm gonna lay the tape down. I wanna make sure that it's not too long. Just layer this down in the middle here and then I'll probably put some on the top and the bottom of this piece. And it doesn't matter which petal goes up first, but this is the way I did it. And so I'm gonna put one piece right there on the top and then one piece on the bottom. And then the other piece in the middle is already on that page. So let's see, gotta make it fit. And I may just turn it just slightly. And then peel those pieces off. And that's gonna go, oops, I need to pick this, peel this one too. And I'm just gonna fit it between those two spots. So that's just anchoring everything. Beautiful. All right, and I think that is it. Oh, no, we got a little heart. So this little heart is gonna go down and that goes right above the yellow flower there. We'll put some um, some shimmer on that in a minute, um, just to make that pop out because it's really kind of disappears in the background, but once you put that shimmer on, it doesn't. So now we're gonna do um, some of the little uh, beads that hopefully you got a chance to buy. Now, if you don't have these, I don't know why this star is in here. <laughs> If you don't have these, you know, think about what else you might have. Any other glittery thing that'll work in there. You know, you could fill it without having to do all the adhesive that I'm going to do. You could, if you had little sparkles, just fill, put all the little tiny. We have bitty sparkles. Those are awesome. Regular sparkles would go in there. You know, anything, even if you just have regular glitter, you know, that you have around the house or your kids and stuff, you can use that. Now, you can use um, liquid glass. Um... I think, what did I use the last time? I think I used this stuff, um, the liquid glue here, but liquid glass would work and probably that very same, um, uh, uh, this, this would probably work too to hold them in, but you know, they are a little bit heavier. So I'm just going to use a little bit, uh, this glue will hold heavier things. So this is probably a little bit better than this type of glue. And then liquid glass would be your best option probably. And then just going to add some of these in here. I might get my little uh, piercing tool out to move these around and make sure they all sink into the glue. So everyone is glued in so that they don't fall out later. And just kind of push them all in there. And I'll hold this up so you can see, because I know it's so hard to see some of these close-up things. Because I'm not a professional video maker. <laughs> so Now my glue will dry clear, but you can see right there how they're all in that. And then I think the last thing on this will be just a little bit of shimmer from our shimmer brush, and I'm using clear. We have all sorts of colors, you know, and they all look really awesome, but um, I do tend to use clear the most just because it'll work on any of the um, colors, no matter what. So I'm just going to add that to the heart there. And did I, let me look and see, yep, I did add shimmer to some other things on the page. So I could shimmer up these little rosebuds because you can't go wrong with a little shimmer, right? And maybe just kind of around each one of these little yellow flowers. And I'm just kind of going where the artist has already put marks. So that's where kind of the shadows where, where each of the uh, flowers, the petals meet. They kind of put these little marks in there for you. And that tells you that's a good place to do your little decorating. I'm gonna do those rosebuds and then I'm just gonna go right where the marks are 
and the shadows around the flowers. Now, if you can do the whole flower, but I think it looks a little better if you're spare with it. And just a little bit here. And I think we are good to go. So page one is done. Now I'm gonna let this dry. We'll do the flip flaps at the end um, because uh, I want this to dry, all right? So let's move on to the second page of the first layout. Before we move on, I did see that there's one more heart. So I'm gonna put one more heart over here. And then I'm gonna shimmer brush that. Even though it's wet, I'm gonna be gentle. I'll have to hold it. <laughs> All right. Okay, now on to page two. All right, now for page two, you're gonna have one piece that you're no longer gonna need. It's this one, it's the journaling one, because we're gonna put a PML card in there that's gonna make it look way better instead of using this, and you also won't have to do journaling lines on it. So let's just set that aside. And we're gonna kind of work the same way as we did on the last one, when um, the first thing is gonna be one H, and one H is three and a half inches down from the top, and one H is gonna be that big floral piece. Let me move my stuff a little bit here. All right. My floral piece is tucked under everything. <laughs> so I gotta kind of move everything out of the way. There we go, all right. So that's gonna go three and a half inches down from the top. Let me get my ruler. All right, so remember our paper is turning left to right is where those lines are going so that it matches the first one. Three and a half inches down. From the top, I'm gonna to hold my ruler very steady. And then I'm gonna work off from the left-hand side of the page. So I'm touching up to the ruler so I'm at the right height. And then I'm going to make sure everything is nice and straight by using the guide of the edge of the page. There, okay. Let's just work through like we did before. We're gonna use the sticker from here, the stitched sticker. Looks like that, and that's gonna go on the top. Oops, get an extra piece of adhesive there. That's gonna go right at the top. Make sure it matches the other one, because this I see that the stitching is just slightly off center. Make sure it matches your first page. And then we're gonna need this little piece that we cut. There we go. And that's gonna go down at the bottom. All right, with a little bit of glue. Why didn't they just make two stickers for us so we didn't even have to cut that? <laughs> and just butt that up against the blue paper. And you can see it's already like trying to pop up, so we might need to hold that for a minute. And then next is going to be, let's see, we did one H, one I is this one, and then one J is going to be the zigzag paper or diamond paper, that. Okay, this will go together quickly. And let me make sure everything is matching. Just in case I've measured wrong or something, I like to make sure that I've matched up against the page one. Looks good, okay. Under that is gonna be 1K, which is that floral piece that looks like this. So I am off on a cruise in two days. Royal Caribbean, Aruba, Haiti, and Curacao. All places I've never been. So I'm very excited and I want some sunshine and some warm weather. <laughs> and I did get this earn this trip through close to my heart, which is I think my 11th trip. I can't remember. It's either 10th or 11th. So yeah, you can do well 
If you do like to sell and show people your artwork, um, you can do well. Direct sales is not for the faint hearted. A lot of people sign up just to get the discount, but now we have a VIP program, which is um, discount with no obligation. So if you're not a seller and don't wanna sell, do the VIP program instead, you get a nice discount and you don't have to worry about making any kind of minimum or anything. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the mats next, I believe. So 1K, 1L, we're gonna start up here, upper right. And actually that's gonna be this piece, I believe. Yep, this piece. So this is gonna be one um, inch up from the bottom and it looks like a half an inch from the side. So get your ruler out. It's just gonna be just above that floral piece. Down there, and this is a mat. Even though it's long, it's a mat that's gonna hold three photos. So let me get that lined up again. One inch from the bottom, half an inch in from the side. Just like that. And sometimes, because I'm very particular about these, I will just take this and just make sure that I put it on nice and straight there. And go up to my see, and I don't think I did. I thought that it looked slightly crooked, so I'm gonna move it just a little bit, because I didn't press down very hard yet. And get that over closer to the ruler. All right. That's one L and one M is over here. And then we'll add the, the little photo pieces. One M is gonna be three and three quarters from the top. And that's gonna be this little um, square mat right there. And so three and three quarters from the top and then a half an inch in. Get that half inch. So while you were actually watching these videos, then I will already be on my cruise. Two, three and a half, or three, wait, one, two, three and a three quarters. One, two, three and three quarters. So it's just under all of this piece. So let me show it close to you, right about there. And then the one below it is gonna be an eighth of an inch down. that. So in Aruba, we're going to go on a snorkeling and boating trip. And for Curacao, we're not sure yet. We might just go to a beach and then they have, Curacao has, um, it's one of those cities where every building is painted a different bright color. So I'm just got to walk around and see that stuff. And then they also have a floating bridge, which instead of coming up like a drawbridge type of thing that, you know, you would see in, in a lot of cities, the bridge actually moves. So it's on the water and it's just going right across to the, the dock. And then it just moves like this <laughs> and then back to let the ships through. Isn't that awesome? So I got to see that. All right, let's put the uh, photo placeholders down. I got mine on straight there. I look pretty straight. Or your photos. Hopefully it is your photos. Because that's what this is all supposed to be about. Not just making the artwork, but actually putting your photos in it. You can do what I did and take a, you know, a weekend and, and just gather all together all of your, um, your photos and all your completed pages and just start slapping them in there. We're gonna do these three mat pieces. And those are going an eighth of an inch from the bottom of this big mat. And that's probably, I'm gonna say it's about an eighth of an inch in from each side. So let me put that down. The glare is not great really bad it's almost a quarter inch so really bad um uh lighting in this apartment really really bad so i think this is going to be an eighth of an inch too up from that first mat so 
so we have decided that we will sell our house hopefully in the spring or summer and uh, needs a lot of fixing up first and then we're going to move down here to illinois and get an actual house instead of an apartment apartment's been fun it's easy to clean and stuff but um i need my whole scrapbook room you know all right and that's gonna go an eighth of an inch from there just like that looks pretty good i see i got a little more space there than there but nobody's gonna notice. Now I'm gonna throw in my photo placeholders. This also gives me an extra mat if I want them. I think I may have cut those down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can buy those or if that's a supply item for consultants. I'd have to look that up, but um. If you do have these or make your own little mini mats, I did cut it down just slightly to fit into the other mat there. All right, and that is it for mats. And now we can do some cutting. So you're gonna get, need your trimmer because we're gonna cut down this, um, this journaling thing. So this is a PML card. Now, if you, if you didn't buy the PML cards for this, you can just use the journaling that they gave you right here fits right in there, right? I am going to go ahead and do this instead because I thought I've got all these PML cards and I wanna use them. So let me see about how much I cut off. I kept the flowers on because I wanted those to be super pretty. So it looks like it's three inches across and then I just left it you know, the, at the same height. So I'm just gonna cut off three inches and just put that in place of that other journaling piece because this has already got lines on it. I mean, that makes it way easier, right? And then it, it comes up just, I think, at the same um, height or the same level, I should say, as the bottom of this one. So whatever that was, let me look. Because I know um, it's important to have measurements. So that's about one and three quarters inches up from the bottom. I'm just going to eyeball it on this because I know that it, it reaches the bottom of this. So about there. And just make sure it looks even on both sides. And that looks so much prettier. Now we can do a little decorating up here. Let me move my out of the way so first piece I have is this one okay and we're gonna glue that quite close to the top of this here to the top of that mat so let's say that that's about a, a half an inch or so down from the bottom of the paper that one first then this one and I'm gonna curve it to the left. Oh, hard to pick up. And that's gonna go next to this first leaf, just kind of over it. And then we've got the weird looking half bud, half leaf type of thing. And that's gonna go next to that. Can you imagine having to design all of this stuff every new catalog and they're going to go back to a, I think eventually they're going to go back to the two months uh, catalog. Can you imagine having to design this? <laughs> new stuff every time. It's crazy. All right, we'll, we'll hold off on the heart for a minute because I want to get the stickers in there. And that I believe is this, this whole sticker piece right here. Um, the one that we did the uh, texture paste on. And I'm going to, it looks like they, actually, let me see how they did that. It looks like they overlapped onto this. So maybe we should put this piece down first. And then I'm going to put some powder. So I'm gonna um, stick this somewhere, since I already took that off. I'm gonna take some of that powder from our anti-static pouch because I don't want it to go over my photos on the right-hand side. 
So it's going to go about here. So I need all of this right hand side from about the word here on down to be powdered. Another way to do this, if you don't have an anti-static pouch and you're going to be um, using the foam dots and stuff, is just don't put take off the uh, the little adhesive sheet off the foam dot. So you could put a foam dot right here, put ones over here, pull the piece, uh, you know, the little guard piece off there, but not here, and it'll do the same thing. But I'm actually going to stick this all the way down, and I'm going to overlap over some of that uh, PML card. Now this side doesn't stick, and then we can pull that foot flower back on, and I'm gonna pop this up on some foam tape and layer it over here. Okay, I think we're not missing anything. I wanna make sure. I've just got one piece left on my paper over here, and that is the uh, little heart, so I've misplaced my tape. Uh, grab another one. Where did that go? Luckily I have plenty. And I know that every time I move, I bump that table and in turn the camera. So I apologize. Gotta put a lot of tape on here. Cause I don't want it to sink down in the middle. So if I use a little more tape, yeah, you know, it costs some money, but I think it's worth it in the end. And I might just do a little bit of powdering here so that side doesn't go on. And that's just going to overlap onto the sticker. And it actually, I could have moved those down or I could have moved this up a little bit. So maybe when you're doing yours, you might want to um, move this Love Grows here up a bit. Let me see if I can still pull it off. I might lift it up, yeah. I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit higher because I want these to be overlapping um, these leaves. I want this flower to be overlapping those a little bit more. So kind of like that. Push that all down. And then we have a heart. And that's gonna go upper. That'll fill in this piece too. That's gonna go right here. Let that dry for a second. Let me check if I've seen if I miss in anything. I think that is it. And then a little uh, shimmer brush here. And I didn't fill this flower in with beads, but you could. Oh, I did. Actually, I did. I'm looking at my thing now and I see it. Okay, so we're gonna do some more beads. Get your glue out. Or your, or your little uh, stickers or, I mean, uh, sh uh, sparkles, itself adhesive sparkles will work. And then I'm just gonna add a pinch of these little beads again. Glad I looked at my page. I almost missed that. Push them down into the glue. That one had a good amount of glue on it already. And I'm having to use my fingers this time. <laughs> the moment it gets glue on it, then it wants to stick to everything. All right, I'm going to, now it's sticking to my fingers. Come on, get that last one. all move into that glue. The moment I put one down, the other one pops up. <laughs> Release. Oh my gosh. Let me try another, another one, see if that'll help. All right. Get in the glue. Maybe that's the problem is I've Need a little more glue there to hold this down. All right, better. It's supposed to be a little, little fussy today. Okay, and I see one more spot I wanna fill in. Naughty. 
I'm gonna try to find a, a sparkle that doesn't have glue on it <laughs> to put in there. Stick. All right, all right, all right. That will all uh, um, glue clear. And a little bit more shimmer brush on some of these flowers. This one is the uh, uh, texture, so you don't need that there. Although it'd probably look cool to have a little shimmer over the texture. Let me try. I think I will. Just a touch there. And then on the little buds. And that's good enough for that one. Okay, page two is done. Let's work. I mean, page two of layout one is done. Let's work on layout two next. So I forgot the final product. Page one. Page two. We will be doing flip flaps once we get these all in page protectors later. And I don't even have extra page protectors, but luckily I've already done them on uh, my first uh, uh, example layout. So we'll do those at the end of all of this.